In the midst of a global attack on Turkey's openly practicing and outspoken Muslim leader, it begs the question as to why he's suddenly the enemy. Well, here are 10 instances that I feel sealed his fate. Regardless of your opinions about him, he is the only Muslim leader to have the guts to voice his opinion on a public stage and for that he deserves full credit. Dünyadaki tüm Müslümanlara bir çağrıda bulunmak istiyorum. İmkanı olan herkes bulduğu her fırsatta Peygamber Efendimizin Aleyhissalatu vesselam tavsiyesine uyarak Lütfen Kudüs'ü Mescid-i Aksa'yı ziyaret edin. quarter of the world's population is Muslim, but do we have a single representative in the UN Security Council? No. Is there any point or meaning in being a temporary member in the Security Council? No. What I'm saying is, the world is more than the five countries that make up the Security Council of the United Nations. They have nothing to do with civilization. They have nothing to do with the modern world. They are the ones who massacred over 8,000 Bosnian Muslims in the Srebrenica massacre. Amerika'nın elektronik ürünlerine biz boykot uygulayacağız. Onların iPhone'u varsa öbür tarafta Samsung var. Siyasi duruşumuzu sağlam tutmaktır. A crime without punishment makes the criminal more brutal. That is the reason behind the rise in Israel's crimes. No peace and stability is possible in the region unless Israel is called to account under international law over murders and massacres. The only way to peace is the establishment of a sovereign and independent Palestine under 1967 borders with its capital in East Jerusalem and there must be pressure on Israel for that. They talk about population planning, birth control, no Muslim family can have such an approach. We'll follow the path and advice of God and our beloved Prophet. We talked extensively about fighting Islamist terror and agreed that we want to collaborate closely. Look, the term Islamist terror seriously upsets us Muslims. That term should not be used. It's not right. Because Islam and terror cannot come together. As a Muslim president, I can never accept such terminology. Do you know what happened in Burma? In Burma, in Myanmar, where Muslims have been butchered. No Muslim had the guts. It was President Erdogan who, Alhamdulillah, not only supported, went himself to Burma to support the victims.